This is Ella Rose Bros. And today we are here at Silver Lake and we are going to be fishing for uh, rainbow trout. We also might be uh, catch, uh, fishing for some largemouth bass depending on how things go. It's a pretty warm day so the fish are going to be sluggish so we probably will not be using uh, very many crankbaits or swim baits or uh, things of that nature. Yeah, which is why we have set up with some bottom rigs and we're just going to have them uh, sitting on the bottom until maybe some trout come by and we'll see what we can catch here. Yeah, and I'm really excited. Uh, so as I uh, mentioned, it's a very nice day. So, uh, I mean, it's uh, still in April. So it's pretty warm for this time of the year, but um, I'm just really excited to uh, try start fishing. Well, today out here at Silver Lake, we're having a great time. It's a really nice sunny day, and um, we know that there's fish here because fish have been jumping out all over the place on the lake, and uh, someone caught a, a fish just a little bit ago. And we're set up with some bottom rigs, like um, in one of our other recent videos, uh, a two ounce weight, and I have a garlic scented power bait on mine two little orange egg egg like power bait garlic scent all fish really like smelly scents on a small small hook and small hooks are great for trout because they don't have very big mouths and um small hooks work well for them so we just got that set up and yeah that's pretty much it really nice day out here i'm really excited um i'm hoping that we might catch a fish it's a really great time of the year and of the day to catch fish right now, especially trout. So that's basically what we're going for. So I hope we catch some. All right. So I'm going to show you guys uh, the baits, the artificial baits we use when we're fishing. So the one we've used the probably the most is these. These are uh, power bait worms, and they're uh, called honey worms. Uh, probably from the color and uh, you can use these for bluegill it's really good for bluegill uh, they come in these strings like this we've caught tons and tons of bluegill on these we also have another color which is golden um, those also work well but uh, we've caught most of them on the uh, honey worms so bluegill and yellow perch will go for those and another power bait we have, we got this one pretty recently. Uh, floating power bait uh, dough. It's just called trout bait. So we use a lot of power bait. But we also have some uh, gulp baits. But this uh, is floating dough. Uh, it's all it is. All that says is just trout bait. It's just basic trout bait. And you roll it up into a ball put it on your hook and it works uh, really well. We've caught two trout on it so far and got a lot more bites. And another thing that we have is these uh, salmon eggs. They are uh, for trout as well. We've used them, haven't had a whole lot of luck with them. I'm pretty sure we did have some bites though. And the artificial version of those is these gulp alive uh, salmon eggs and these uh, are for trout and these float actually so uh, that's a difference and we also have these garlic power eggs um, that are power baits for a lot of different kind of fish we've used these a lot um, got trout bites uh, maybe you could catch some pan fish with them as well yeah, so that's just uh, some of the power baits we use. Well, we did not catch any fish today, but we're planning on coming back here in the future. Yeah, we had a few bites, but um, we're probably gonna come back um, sometime soon, try to catch something and uh, 
Yeah, so we'll see if we can catch some trout like we were hoping to today. So we uh, just got back from the lake. We didn't catch anything, but we have these um, other trout that we are going to cook up today. And uh, one of them's from Putters Lake. Uh, you can check out that video. It's a really nice video and uh, We're just gonna go ahead. Uh, we have some vegetables over here. We have the um, trout uh, right here Yeah, so today we're going to do a couple different things. Uh, we got the BioLite stove and and um, You can check out some review videos. We've done lots of cooking videos on it We have some different vegetables here that we're going to use today and um some celery, carrots, lemon, fennel, and um, some different things that we're going to use. Um, one of the fish is going to be inside tin foil, and one of them is going to be directly on the grill. We're going to try out di some different things and see which one, which one we like better. Um, if there's uh, much of a difference, so we'll we'll try out some different things today with the um, cooking the trout and see how it turns out. We also have some salt and pepper and some parsley and olive oil to uh, help season the fish, give it some uh, better flavor. And um, today we're going to be using an ingredient that we haven't really used before. Um, you will find plenty of different videos. We use um, some of these things like um, we use lemons before inside trout to, um, it really adds a good flavor. But today we're also gonna be using um, something new, fennel. It's kind of like celery and onion in one, but we're just gonna use the bulb it should add some nice flavor to the fish, hopefully season it um, well and um, kind of highlight the highlight the uh, meal. So we'll, we're hoping that we'll get some good trout cooked today. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some of this carrot. I'll cut off the end. Then I'll do some diagonal cuts. So the trick about these diagonal cuts is that um, we are, it's when we lay it out, it's longer than a normal cut. For example, the end is circular, but this one that's like a diagonal is a lot longer. So it'll be flat, more flat, but longer. So we're, we're planning to put the vegetables, like the celery, carrots and stuff under the fish. So um, now I'm gonna do celery, just gonna cut off the end so that that's out of the way. And now I'm going to do some diagonal, more diagonal cuts to um, have the same effect as the carrots. Last time in one of our other videos you can check out, um, we'll put a link in the description below that is of where we do more trout cooking with the BioLite stove we've done before. Um, we did potatoes and lemon, this time we're doing lemon, carrots, and celery. So I got the celery and carrots. Now I'm going to cut, um, we're not going to use any of this part here, we're only going to use the bulb. So I'm going to cut off some of the end right here, so that that's not in the way. We'll just not use that part. Um, also on the end, I'm going to cut off um, some on the bottom right here. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to do some cuts along this way. So um, the inside of fennel is kind of like onion, kind of like cabbage onion. Really, really, um, I think it's really cool. Never used it before though. Yeah, that's basically all you have to do, cutting all these long, uh, big parts, like the parts like this, you'll get a lot of those. If, uh, if you're doing it the same way as me, and then you can just do the long strips. Um, kind of doing it how you would for onion. I got all the fennel, so now I'm going to move on to the lemon. Um, well, basically the ends, you need to cut those off, of course. That won't, that, that part's not what we're looking for. We need the inside of the lemon, so I'm going to cut it in half. Alright, so now that we have um, on these vegetables cut up, we're going to do the fish. 
All right, so we're gonna put this fish on diagonally. So all these vegetables will um, help flavor the fish. And we're going to be putting, as we said, salt, pepper, parsley, some olive oil, fennel, carrots, celery. And now to season the fish, first we are going to put some uh, lemon in it. Just put it inside of the cavity of the fish right there. There we go. And now to put some salt and pepper on it. Get some salt and pepper. Put some parsley on it. There we go. Got the salt and pepper on. Just gonna put a little bit of uh, salt on the vegetables. And uh, that's the fish. And we can wrap it up and put it on the BioLite stove. And so we have the one in tin foil, like Silas was putting the vegetables on and seasoning it. And this one is the one with the lemons inside. We're putting it right there on the, uh, right there on the, this side. And then the fish that will go directly on the grill will go right here. And um, as you saw Silas doing, he was um, putting some oil on the grate so that the fish doesn't stick. And uh, since we don't have anything underneath it, it needs to have some oil on there so that the fish doesn't stick to help it with that. And we're just going to go ahead and put that one on too. And hopefully we'll get some nice fish today. So this one's already cooking. It'll take slightly longer because it's not fully exposed to the fire. So we're gonna put on we put on first. So today we got the BioLite stove grid uh, grill lid as well. I'm just gonna put it on there. Um, we have a review video that you can watch. We'll put a link in the description. It's really nice because we also um, do some cooking on it to try it out. And it has this just a quick description. Has this to let smoke out. Has a handle there. Really handy. So we're um, you can check out one of our videos, we do a review on it, but um, we're just going to use it to help get that smoky flavor in the fish as well. It's, I think it's really handy, but um, yeah, it'll help the fish cook. Alright, so um, this is the second fish, just going to season this one. No vegetables or lemons, um, but we are going to squeeze some lemon juice on it, to so it can still have that uh, lemony flavor. So, just the same as the other one, some salt, um, some pepper, parsley, I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice as well in here. Alright, so now it's all seasoned and we are going to put it on. So I'm going to put some uh, oil on this paper towel to help the fish to not stick. So we're going to put the other fish on. Yep, we're just going to leave this top off for now. There we go. And every once in a while, we're going to flip the fish and um, get get both sides cooked real well. So this one's going to um, take, as we were saying, take a little bit longer. Yep. So we've already had that in there, getting the smoky flavor, but now we're, we took it off. So this one can have a turn. We're going to flip it over um, once so that um, we can get both sides. So we'll let this side get cooked and then we'll flip it over looking uh, really nice so um, I'm excited to try try it out uh, we have quite a few trout uh, fishing videos if you want to learn how to catch the trout and uh, so if you want to uh, learn some of our other ways that we can catch what well, that we catch trout uh, try uh, watching the putters lake video and our other video where we go to Lake Sammamish. So we're going to be taking this one off. 
Okay, so that one is um, finished. This one just needs to get a little bit longer on that side, and then we'll flip it. So we have finished cooking the trout on the wildlife stove and we have um, got it onto the plate and we're gonna and we're ready to try it. It looks really good. Yeah, so this is the one that was um, on the grill, just straight on the grill, and this is the one that was in the tin foil. And we also have some of the vegetables underneath it. So uh, uh, Phoebe, do you wanna try uh, the trout with us? Yes, please. So let's try some of the one on the the one that was directly on the pan first. Okay. That sounds good. So this one was um, only seasoned with no vegetables, um, directly on the pan. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let me try that. That's yeah, it, it tastes it tastes good. Uh huh. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Turned out nice. I like the one on the pan because mm -hmm. um, I think it's um, done really well. I think we did a good job on that one. Uh, the trout from our last video had really pink meat, mm -hmm. but this one is pretty pale. Uh, so, uh, we had a, a nice time today cooking uh, these fish, and um, I encourage you, uh, even if you don't know how to catch them for yourself, uh, pick up some trout from uh, just a store or something, and uh, even some salmon, because uh, they're pretty similar fish. Try cooking it this way, and uh, see uh, how you like it, and yeah. Uh, yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Yeah, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>